Hi everyone. Um, so no doubt you've heard a whole pile of uh, YouTube channels telling you that the rapture is ex extremely likely to happen on a certain date right about now. Um, it has to happen before a certain date according to their calculations or it's based on Dana Coverstone's dreams or um, it's the Feast of Trumpets, or it was the Feast of Trumpets, so therefore it was supposed to happen then. Um, they, there's a million reasons why people say that this is the high watch period and hey, yay, we're about to go, whoopee. Um, uh, and no doubt if you actually paid attention to any of them and believed them, uh, you, you're either, if the date has passed, you're probably very despondent, a de bit depressed, um, worn out, uh, sad, angry, uh, uh, wanting to give up on rapture watching, um, or you're angry at God for not coming. Um, there's lots of different reactions you could have had um, maybe that it may be that you're waiting for something to happen next week or tomorrow um, but uh, when you get there and it doesn't happen you'll also go through this um, and like yeah last year 2019 um, I sort of got you know hooked on all of the the rapture prediction things, um, all the, the dreams and their possible interpretations pointing to a particular time and um, uh, it gave me nothing but anxiety. Um, I couldn't sleep some of the time, you know, like I, my heart would race and um, I just got into a, a nervous state where I, I had a lot of trouble sleeping and I was constantly on edge and I stopped thinking about uh, planning anything in the future, even if it was the very near future. And um, and then I just realized this is not right. Um, I can't keep doing this. Uh, Jesus will come when he comes and me anticipating it doesn't make it any quicker and it has no good effects on me. Um, it was really bad for my health and you know, made me just forget about actually living. Um, so what you can see in Galatians 5 are the works of the flesh and the fruit of the spirit described. And um, yes, it's fine to be aware of Bible prophecy, you know, study Revelation and Daniel um, and other parts where of the Bible where there's um, descriptions of uh, the rapture and end times and and it's good to see that we are in that season and it's approaching and um, you know it's it's we know that it's going to be very soon um, but there's nothing in the Bible saying that uh, we know the date we will know the date um, we just need to expect it and you can live expecting it any moment but that moment could be in a year's time and you don't know what the, when it's going to be so you keep living but know that it could be at any moment and watching for the rapture a lot of people think watching for the rapture is trying to predict the date and that is not true um, Jesus never, nobody ever said in the Bible that it was going to be on a particular feast day. And so, and people just year in and year out go through all the different feasts and cycle through them and say why this one could be the rapture date. And it just, it goes on every year in and out, like over and over and over again. And one day they could be right. <laughs> but I don't, 
honestly I don't see the point of that um, it doesn't make me any more ready for the rapture and it leads to a whole lot of disappointment when the date passes and nothing happens being aware of prophecy and that we are in the end times and being ready um, and keeping our eyes on Jesus that is watching the rapture because Jesus is the rapture he it's him that we're going to see with our own eyes it's him that's going to glorify our bodies it's it's our meeting with him and we, he's, he's here right now he's in us we have him inside of us right now it's not like he's far and distant and uh, be someone we're going to meet one day no he's already here he's with us but um, he's going to change our bodies and glorify us on that day but it's it's the point is that rapture watching is looking at Jesus because he is the rapture the rapture is not a date it's a person it's Jesus Christ it's it's the glorification of the body of Christ and to make us like uh, the final step in in making us like him when we see him face to face we will become like him um, but right now we also look at him spiritually you are spiritualized and we become more and more like him as we gaze upon him and he's his glory is impressed into us as we learn about him and, and our inheritance in him um, he he is the rapture so if you're just looking for dates and you're not paying any attention to Jesus your priorities are all wrong and you're gonna end up in sour disappointment angry at God and it does not it doesn't do any good to, for you and you can see in Galatians 5 the works of the flesh um, actually no I'll start with the verse 22 the fruit of the Spirit so the main ones I wanted to talk about are joy uh, joy and peace so um, fruit of the Spirit um, creates joy and peace rapture watching looking at dates does not <laughs> It has never caused any joy to anyone or peace to anyone because none of the dates set so far have ever come true. At least disappointment, sadness, hatred. That is not the fruit of the Spirit. Whereas if you keep your eyes on Jesus, you will have the fruit of the Spirit. And that includes patience. Um, you will have joy, you will have peace and patience. Is patience one of them? Maybe it's not. Long suffering is a kind of patience. Sorry. It is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Anyway, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, impatience is definitely not fruit of the spirit. And that's what all I can say. Um, yes, I know people are suffering physically. Um, people have suffered physically for as long as people have existed. Um, and we are lucky that we are the generation that are going to go before our time, before we die. At least, hopefully most of us. Um, and so our suffering on earth will be cut short and that is that is all we can that's what we can rejoice in um, and it's I know it's hard if you are suffering um, not to get angry at God for not coming sooner to end your suffering um, but the only solution is just to focus on him and stop looking at the dates because that will cause you more pain Look at him, let him be your satisfaction, let him be your peace and your joy and he will ease your suffering. He will give you the strength that you don't have because you are weak and he is strong and he is strong, strongest when you are weakest. 
uh, and allow him to be that for you and, and, and not looking for a date to save you. Look, for, look to Jesus to save you um, from your troubles. So, um, so rapture date watching does not produce the fruit of the Spirit. And all I see um, in the channels that, that do this, that constantly set dates and high rapture watching periods and um, look at worldly events and, and, and say, oh, this must be the trigger of the, the rapture. It's going to happen because this happened. Um, all I see is idolatry, witchcraft, um, strife, heresies, uh, things like that. And what I mean by that is idolatry is is getting people's eyes off Jesus and putting them onto something else which is more important than Jesus. That is idolatry. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be a good thing or a bad thing. But if you've got your eyes on something else and that is more important to you than Jesus, like predicting the day of the rapture and trying to read things into the Bible that aren't there, then you're going to, that's idolatry. Um, witchcraft. Witchcraft is manipulation. Um, all these channels use clickbait to get you to watch their videos. They, they end up with really high subscriber counts um, because they love their being popular. They put titles on their videos to entice people to watch you know like a whoa you won't believe this or um, yay we're about to go um, I don't know uh, high watch period the highest watch rapture watch period of the year on now you know all of these clickbaits that um, just make people like it, it's manipulation it it's like you, you know you're probably not going to hear any truth but you still click it because um, you've been seduced by the clickbait, the manipulation, the witchcraft. That is witchcraft. Um, you don't have to have a pointy hat and a broom to, um, to be guilty of witchcraft. Um, and man there are so many channels that do that. If you um, have a video called uh, The Power of the Blood of Jesus, <laughs> people are like, eh, don't feel like that. And then they see a rapture video. Oh, I'd like to hear about this. Let's, let's go and see what this person thinks about when the rapture is going to be. They're more interested in, in that rubbish than they are in Jesus' blood. And someone the other day, who I won't mention, said that... Uh, Bible teaching without referring to prophecy and rapture stuff is hollow. I couldn't believe my ears. It is not hollow. If you're preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and what he accomplished on the cross for us and who we are in Christ and our um, amazing inheritance in him and you don't mention the rapture Apparently he calls that hollow. There is nothing more powerful, nothing more satisfying, nothing more uplifting, joyful than hearing about what we have in Christ. Hearing another rapture high watch period does not give me joy. It just makes me think, oh, here we go again. I don't care. I know it's going to pass and nothing's going to happen. And I'm not saying the rapture is not going to happen any moment. It will happen. But it, and it could be at any moment, but I cannot see in the Bible where we are told that God is giving us cryptic puzzles to figure out, to figure out when the rapture date is. That is not in there, and yet people have turned it into their ministry. They think every dream they get is another clue in the puzzle, or they go and find some obscure verse in the Bible that, and take it completely out of context and come up with reasons why this means the rapture will be at this time. Um, it, it goes against all uh, biblical study principles and 
it's just unbelievable and you know what when these dates pass the ones some of them already have more are coming when they pass these people are going to set new dates they're going to move the goalpost and say god is going to increase my wisdom so that i can actually figure out when the rapture is going to be he gave me a lot of information but not quite enough to figure out when the rapture is but he's going to give me more and i'm going to figure it out and i'm i'm going to be the one when i get to heaven everyone's going to go oh my goodness you were right you are amazing i can't believe you're the one who got it right you deserve a huge prize uh maybe a red ferrari that you're going to drive around in heaven that's what rapture at twilight was saying last year she was reckoned she was going to get a, a ferrari in heaven for her wonderful rapture prediction skills which um obviously came to nothing um so what have i covered idolatry and witchcraft uh well strife lots of people get angry when uh these dates come and go people commit suicide because God hasn't come and someone told um, them that he would come by this date or um, and heresies my goodness rapture the rapture watching community on YouTube there are so many heresies uh, a lot of them are works um, channels they, they believe you can lose your salvation a lot of them think that there are multiple raptures and it's all based on rewards and and work as to whether you get into the first rapture um, and yeah it's just there are so many heresies amongst these people um, only a handful of them have the gospel right and don't um, uh, compromise on the gospel and I'm glad for those people but um, there's way too many that do um, so yeah, and drunkenness, well, <laughs> they're not, you know, drinking alcohol, but they're drunk on rapture watching. They're drunk on news headlines. They're drunk on anything but Christ. They do just, they've, they've drunk the Kool-Aid and they're off on a tangent and they've lost sight of Jesus. Okay, so this is a bit of a rant. Um, I implore you uh, to see this for what it is. See what the rapture watching channels are doing. Understand that they are using clickbait manipulation. They want the, their counts, their view counts, their um, subscriber counts to go up. They love the popularity. Um, they keep dragging you along with their their latest predictions and continual disappointment but then they immediately come back with something to get your hopes up again and keep you clicking and listening they don't want to give you the truth they're not interested in in giving you Jesus they're interested well they might throw in the gospel here and there um, but they're not feeding you with the Word of God they're not giving you the food and drink that is Jesus Christ it satisfies you they're just giving you junk food and it does not satisfy you go on a sugar high for five minutes and then you're plummeting back down to earth again and you feel terrible that is not what Jesus wants us to be doing rapture watching is not a commandment like someone said recently um, keeping your eyes on Jesus is, is what we should be doing not 